<laughs> it's already out. It's out. <laughs> if you could, if you could talk about specifically what draws you to the project, what draws you to cinema, what drives what it is that you actually pick and choose. Um, I wish I knew, and I'd tell my agents. <laughs> but I don't know. It's kind of. I mean, there's definitely a part of me that I'd like to do the opposite of what I did the last time. I mean, that's something to do with that. I think. As soon as I try and say, oh, I'm looking for a part that's sort of an empty hero or whatever, and then some people try and find, like the agent or whatever, tries to find something which fits into that category. As soon as, as soon as I've had that thought and I'm actively looking for it, it feels so cheesy and stupid. Like when something comes like, oh yeah, I want to be this kind of guy. Like, I have no idea what kind of part I want to be. I just want to be inspired by things. And um, you know, if you read a lot of scripts within the first five pages, you generally know exactly where it's going because anyone who's writing scripts is trying to get their movie made and you will only get it made if you literally follow the certain formula so then if you read the one script out of a thousand which is like wait what like that's always the one I want to do you know to do something uh, you can't just be strange it has to be you know I mean I think they're gifted writers I mean it's kind of one of the main things but you, can, you know regardless of having and I think even if I hadn't seen their previous work, like you can see in the writing, it's like, oh, you understand, you understand the story very, very well. Um, and I like things, I like, uh, uh, I like different uh, dialect that feels foreign to me and kind of cadence of speech and stuff, like, uh, just something that's fun to say. I remember, like, with this, and just with a few other things I've done, like, you immediately want to read it out loud, and as soon as you feel that, you're like, ah, oh, okay, that's definitely something. It's, it, it's not a cerebral process, it's like, oh, you need, you need to perform it. Yeah, no, I mean, I, I do nothing but watch stuff. I, I, I literally, I'm, I just have a Twitter which is only, only follows film reviewers and film journalists <laughs> and, and film festivals. <laughs> and I, all, the only thing I do is watch, watch trailers all the time and send lists and like lists of names to my agents. So hundreds and hundreds of lists. And like uh, no one has any idea what I'm, what I'm talking about the whole time. People literally have no idea we're shooting a movie at all. Um, it's just looked like someone that just literally bought a 35 mm camera from a porn store. <laughs> <laughs> we're standing on the side of the street. <laughs> it's actually yeah. very high. Yeah. <laughs>